What's up, guys? It's me. I'm back. And we are at episode... Four. Episode four of drawing posters for different video games that I've played. Again, all of these gameplays will be linked in the description. If you're new, hi. I've been doing this for a, a few videos now. And this is probably going to be my main series. Because it's really fun. And I just really like taking these video games that I liked and bringing them to life. This is Meatly Storage World, which is a game that I found on, I believe, Itch.io. And it is just so weird. And I love it. I'm, of course, not the only one who played this game. If you wanted to check out some other gameplays, that's cool. But this game is very small, as it is just an Itch.io game. But I liked it. It has this weird monster guy. And I believe it is made by the same guys who made the Benny and the English Machine movie. Movie? The Benny and the English Machine game. And that series. So... This is a turn, and according to the very credits of the mo of the of the game, it was made in one day, just for fun, just just for shits and giggles, just you know they made a couple assets, they threw a game together, and they called it quits. And it was this game, and it's very good. It's great. It's just a little chaotic. <laughs> I decided to go for a bit more of a cartoony style for my character here this time. Of course, as you will notice, most of my drawings, actually the only drawing that I have drawn recently that has me as the main focus is the next drawing here. Uh, but this one is like the others and it has me as the main focus because it is a first person game that I did not play as a random character, I play as myself. So here we are, me, right there. But this game is super weird, and I, I implore you to check it out for yourself if you if you want to. And it is of course free. It is completely free on Itch.io. And the game is obviously in a storage place. You're trying to find your stuff, and Meatly won't let you because I don't know. Is it in the middle of the night? I don't know. There's no time. You have, a, you have a flashlight and this weird tracker thing that allows you to open some of the uh, storage things. The ones that are red. I didn't draw any red ones in here because I just didn't care. But I just, the, I just didn't care. They're red in the game. Anyway, I'm adding all the colors to myself to finish off all the coloring. And the... Oh, the whites of my eyes, and now I'm going to start all of the shading because I decided to go in deep on the shading and details in this one. My previous ones have gone pretty light, and if if not at any at all, actually, if in anything at all, they're very light. This one I decided to go full in, all in, and take as much details as possible. So even taking some of the some of it away to add extra lighting. And I wanted the lighting to be very extreme, which is why I decided to go very hard with it. Now I'm taking in the blur tool to uh, to expand this and to fix all of the shadows up. Make them look a bit more natural, make them look nice, and make them uh, look at fabrics and stuff like that. And this is all just the lack of light. This is all just the shadows. I do even more lighting in a little bit. And I decided to do all of that. The game itself is very dark, so I have very limited um, light sources in this piece. And I really like it. I also went very simple in the outfit, as you'll see, as you see, because I don't know what the character would wear. And obviously, I feel like if you're just going to a storage place, you wouldn't exactly wear very extravagant clothing. Now we're onto the highlights. So I'm taking uh, the little light that is above Meatly right there. It's a bit too high for me to for you to see, but it's there. I had to go through a couple of different lights uh, settings before deciding on this one. And 
I had to do a bit more dynamic with my character, such as only doing up below the chin because it's like kind of just right there underneath there. And I really like how this drawing turned out. And I really love how the blending went. Even if the blending was a bit messy sometimes, it still looks pretty good. And here's the finished piece. And now we're moving on to the next one. This one, as I mentioned, is the only one of the posters that I've done so far that does not feature me, I think. Um, am I wrong? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check real quick. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh no. I did three other drawings that didn't feature me. Okay, so this is the fourth drawing that doesn't feature me. Yay. Okay. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, um, oh, we're already into this, into the line art. It, it was a long time. Uh, for this one, I actually had to redo the entire sketch. And by that, I mean, I took the horizon line, shifted it down quite a bit, and shifted around a lot of the perspective and a couple of the different items just to try to fix and match it to make it like just a little bit more appealing. And of course, I'm trying to replicate the original scene that I'm replicating as much as possible. This is kind of a slightly spoilery scene, but I thought that'd be interesting to, to look at this car crash and just to look at it. I didn't add any papers. I think I was going to, uh, but there, it, I decided to uh, scatter all the glass on the floor and stuff like that. And of course, this entire piece is in black and white. Unlike my other pieces, this is the only one that is in black and white. This will not be the only one that will go that will be in black and white. But this is the first one that it is in black and white, and it's because the game is in black and white. Obviously, this is the midnight scenes. If I didn't mention that already, <laughs> midnight scenes, the highway episode one. And here I am drawing Claire Barnes, our main character, as she is staring at this horrifying scene and i didn't really know what to do with her hands so they're just kind of there like in a slightly shocked scenario and then i added in the feet in a different position and now i think it is time to start the colors I had to get away, rid of some of the more details in the background because it was a bit messy. But then I went and started to take all of the uh, to paint bucket in all of the colors. And for the background, the, the sky, I took a bunch of the colors and I just started blending. Because I wanted it to be very smooth. I wanted it to actually look like painting, a very black and white painting. I don't really work on black and white very much, but I kind of, this kind of made me want to, because playing with the values is just so much fun. And then I went in with the mountains, which I had to do a little bit with, and I then put in all of the bushes. And now I am putting in the shading and highlighting for everything. So the mountains and the bushes. But I'm not just going to leave it like this. I decided to go in deep and blend everything out. There I am, blending everything out. I blended all of my little smudges out to make it look a bit more smooth, make it look nice. And that's how I wanted it to look. I tried to make the ones on the bushes a bit more messy. You see, like, I just go in with a small brush and the dabs. And here I am moving on to the rocky, to the rocks, where I try to make it slightly more smooth, but also a bit jagged. Or at least try to. So it kind of still does look like those are those edges, but they're kind of dulled down now. And I'm just finishing up on this side as well, trying to copy that method as much as possible. I really like how these mountains look. They look very nice. Now I'm just filling in the rest of the colors, which is like the grass, which I ended up uh, realizing that I had forgotten this bush. And I kind of like this bush better than the other ones. But then I decided to add in some shading uh, to the to the bush, to, to the grass, not the bushes. And I ended up having to paint these in properly. 
myself before blending the entire thing. Yeah. I really like the way that it looks, and it's just very simple gradient to um, give some perspective. And I did the same thing with the road, and I even started with a bit of a too dark road, so I did do end up adding some. Uh, here we go, I'm adding the lighter color to blend in as well. So that it looks just a little bit better. There. And now I am coloring in the rest of the scene, such as the 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 cars and the car and the truck that has been smashed, and the glass that I scattered all over the floor. And then I blended it out just a little bit. And I believe that I wasn't actually going to go that detailed on the on these parts, but I decided to do it anyway, and I started to add some more highlights to it, just to make it cooler, and then I added some color to the color, uh, some, sh like, I'm gonna say color, color to the, uh, the tires, and then I decided to try and replicate that dark stuff on the back, which is, I believe it's supposed to, like, be dirty, not just, you know, shade, but I also do use, do use the same color for shade as, well, shade as well, but I darken this part to show that it's dark and not just shading. So then I started to actually shade it with that color as well, and I shaded the door as well, and now I'm going to just blend all of that out, just to try and make it a bit less messy. And then I started to, I tried to make it a little bit messier on the back part, how it looks up. Looks, it looks pretty dirty to me, if I do say so myself. And then I'm moving on to the background car, which has a bit different texture, so I tried to do that as best as I could, and try to get those faces right, and then add a bit more of the dimension with different darker colors. Keep going darker with it, until I felt satisfied enough to start going in and shading, and uh, blending. I ended up having to blend it even more because it was just not looking too good. Of course, the I colored in the windows and the highlights for that, and then the light, and I decided to start blending those as well. And I decided to start blending in that rest of the back of the car a little bit more because it just didn't look right. And now I'm just going in in the characters with flat with flat colors. I did not want to um, I because they were so small I couldn't exactly get all of the colors right. So all of the shades right. <clears throat> so I just decided to pick them and then just put them on the characters. I did the same thing with Claire because I did not care at this point. I think it looks fine. It looks nice, and I like it. And then I was done. So thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye!